Porcupines are among the largest rodents on Earth, along with capybaras and beavers. Scientists group them into either Old World or New World porcupines. Old World porcupines live in Europe, Africa, and Asia. New World porcupines live in North, Central, and South America. Porcupines have poor eyesight. It is perhaps one of the reasons why they are nocturnal animals and tend to stay out of sight during the day. However, to compensate for their poor sight, they have well-developed ears. Porcupines are gentle, solitary animals. They may come together only during the breeding season. A family group consisting of a mother and her young is called a prickle. A baby porcupine is called a porcupet. While the Old World porcupines are ground dwellers, the New World porcupines spend a significant amount of time in trees. Porcupines have prehensile tails, which means they can use their tails to grasp and hold on to objects like tree branches. Porcupines are nature's lawnmowers, munching on bark, leaves, and other plant materials. Their strong, chisel-like incisors make them well-suited for gnawing on tough vegetation. Porcupines are covered in about 30,000 quills, and those quills serve as a formidable defense mechanism. Each quill is a masterpiece of natural engineering and is marked with black and white bands, and some quills can be up to 20 inches long. Quills are just modified hairs made out of keratin, usually lie flat and are covered with soft hairs. Contrary to popular belief, porcupines cannot shoot their quills but they have muscles at the base of each quill that allow them to stand up. When a porcupine feels threatened, it can raise its quills through muscular action. It then raises the quill-covered tail, exposing the hindquarter, where the quills are most dense, creating a formidable barrier. If a predator makes contact, the barbs facilitate easy penetration and embedment in the attacker's skin. When threatened, a porcupine may also move backward into an attacker, driving the quills deep into the predator. The quills are sharp and have between 700 and 800 overlapping microscopic scales or barbs, which make them difficult to remove once embedded in a predator's skin. On the top of that, the backward-facing barbs make removal challenging and can lead to injury, infection, or even death for the aggressor. If, somehow, a porcupine hurts itself or another porcupine, they are protected as the quills are coated with antibiotic substances, which works for them only. It's a defensive strategy that sends a strong message. Think twice before messing with me. And back off. Nature continues to amaze us with its ingenious solutions for survival. If you found this video intriguing, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Until next time, keep exploring the wonders of the natural world.